many people in my generation make the excuse that you can drink as long as it's done for the right reasons or you can smoke and we'll use the excuse well it's been medically proven that you cannot die or get a medical issue from it and all sorts of excuses to do acid and to even um basically you're just doing a lot of drugs and alcohol and sex and all that stuff what i want to tell you guys is don't do any of any of those um activities because those activities um that you do with drugs and all that stuff that opens up the door immediately to satan and to many demons so today at work i worked at another store that i never worked at before and today even still i feel very disturbed in my spirit because the people that i worked around yes had a good worth at worth at work ethic but the way how they said things and the way how they were in some cases double minded the tongue that they had there are many spirits out there you guys that are that are obviously demonic but there are spirits out there that are of god which are angels ones that record ones that the lord um sends to in his name to guard and protect those who need assistance that who call upon the name of jesus and the thing is you guys is when you do these drugs they're not only destroying your mind but they're re-altering your mind so it's not just the demons that try to take control of you but they but you're actually following suit after what the demons want you to say now in some cases a demon will manifest out of somebody's face and i heard this story today from one of the co-workers saying that they did um they were drinking and they were smoking and i think uh this one lady said that they were doing hallucinogenics this was maybe a few years ago i'm assuming and when i heard this story i immediately um because I, I at first i wasn't really paying attention but then i heard that she said that this guy saw like a demon or something like that and that's when I immediately went to the conversation to be like, yeah, I'm not trying to be nosy, but what was this conversation you were talking about? And she explained to me the whole story where they were all drinking and smoking and hallucinogenics were involved from what I heard. And this guy um, went upstairs, I think maybe 15 or 20 minutes. But then when he came back downstairs, he fell down the stairs, obviously, and then the girl that's telling the story was laughing hard about this. And um, then this uh, guy says, like, I literally see demons or like I saw a demon. And then I think he charged right at um, at this girl that was telling the story. I don't believe that he assaulted her or anything like that because she would have told me in that story because all they were doing was laughing and having a good time. And that mean in that the Lord used that story to show me that how like very ungodly a lot of drugs that are being legalized by the Democrat Party and by some Republicans. And I've just and even the medical um industry is starting to say, well, it there's there's no records of of supposed um of marijuana use can cause health effects. And actually when I was in high school on a on the school on a school bus one day, this kid who had a bible um while I was living in apostasy um in like like my junior or senior year or something like that. He said something about weed smoking weed is a sin or something like that. And then this one guy who was of a spirit that was demonic, of course, um, that was same of most spirits that were on that bus. And this guy said, if God put marijuana on this earth, 
um, to basically, if God put marijuana on this earth for me to use, then that's not sin. Basically, that's what he said. And basically, a lot of people in high school use this excuse. They use the excuse of, well, as long as it's done for the right reasons. And someone in my family said it like that the way I just did. And the thing is, is that it doesn't matter if it's done with the right reason or not. Because what is a right reason? Most things in this world are corrupt and perverted. Even, even when women or when a man and a woman have sex, even that's been perverted in such an ungodly way. Even stories that I've been told today by this woman that I've talked about, I've heard a very ungodly story that I kind of didn't want to hear, or I ended up hearing anyways, and I kind of asked, well, what happened? Because it, apparently it was someone that I actually knew who it was, but that's besides the point. The thing is, you guys, is a lot of um, drugs that these doctors try to force on people or say, oh, you should take this, actually um, allow demonic entities. There's been reports, obviously, recently that um, hallucinogenics or mushrooms have, have, have ties to demons. Now, I made this video long ago, maybe it was late, it was the middle to late last year, where, um, where supposedly this off-duty pilot, um, literally, like, 48 hours before he had to fly an actual airplane, he had, he hitched a ride in the cockpit with two active-duty pilots, and he was having casual conversation and then, all out of the blue, this guy takes his headset off and launches it across the cockpit. And he shouts, I'm not okay. And then looks up. And then decides to grab the fire extinguisher um, ejectors for the engines, the plane engines. And the pilot uh, fought this guy for like 30 seconds. And then what ended up happening was it, is that he ended up calming down for a moment. And then he, he basically this guy went insane within like in a split second. And what I even noticed from this story when I heard this is that somebody just does not go casually talking and then just switches over to a unstable mind because that's double-mindedness when you have a double-minded mind you have demons involved in your life whether you know it or not or even actually you don't you don't know it and if you do know it and you allow that double-mindedness to happen then that makes your life even worse but the the thing is is like i'm kind of rehashing it over and over again what i have personally seen is it, and even with even without using drugs you don't there's people that have a spirit that's like another spirit that's like someone else's that they talk the same slang tongue and it's like some of you may think I'm being racist or not but I'm actually not but the thing is you guys is like when people start talking like other people trying to have people to like them, you're actually trying to please others and please instead of pleasing God. And you then end up being um, in the hands of the devil at that point. Unless you repent with all your heart and might. I've been witness to so many in, um, demonically influenced things. And a lot of demonic possessions. Even, within my, even with myself. Where... <laughs> where pornography can lead someone to demonic possession or a demonic attack or a demon can sexually molest you. Um, and this, and these things are, and these sometimes demons will, will not like harm you at all, but sometimes these demons will actually violate you. And this has happened to me a, a few, quite a few times, you guys. 
and they are not fun or pretty at all. They're actually quite scary. But if you have Jesus on your side and you don't leave him, then you have nothing to worry about. So, moreover, to conclude this video and message is um, not to use this, this saying, but don't do drugs, you guys. They're not worth your time. Don't do acid. Don't drink alcohol. Don't do sex outside of marriage. Don't be around people that are influenced by influencers, by their um, slang of tongues and of these same spirits or different spirits that are all demonic spirits that love and hate each other. So don't pollute your soul with demonic entities. The Lord will know if you're willingly on his side or willingly on the side of Satan. And don't be both sided either because the thing is if you are then you're just in a more worse state than one of the two. Not saying that being on the side of God is worse, but the thing is when you're on the side of God, you will have the enemy on you like a like a bow and arrow times a thousand going against you, trying to condemn you and literally everything you do. And all and all you have to do is even if it's every second rebuke that demon in the name of jesus christ so i've made this video a little bit too long but the thing is you guys is be careful with what you let in your life even with uh psychedelics or whatever actually you, you shouldn't even be having psychedelics at all because the thing is you guys is the living god is not even mocked because the thing is is marijuana to some degree, actually was not medically, um, there was no medical records of, ha of causing health issues. And now all of a sudden, like now, like the last year and a half, now there's rising reports of that thing, that marijuana can actually affect the heart and actually can affect the, what you say, the mind. Guys, the living God is not mocked. And when you say, well, God made it so therefore i can use it what demon do you have that is influencing you to say that or what demon is possessing you to say that or literally anything for that matter many people have demons whether it's agitating them outside of their body or literally within themselves so don't invite the demon into your temple Invite the Holy Spirit within you and never let that spirit leave you. Because I'm telling you, if you let demons in and if you let them violate you and all that stuff, you will have such terrible anxiety. You will have such terrible things within yourself. And it actually separates you from the living God. It really does. And what I'm telling you guys is stay separate from people who are demonically influenced or or demon oppressed or demon op or demon possessed or oppressed or just demon agitated. Don't be like don't be like a like-minded spirit or like-bodied spirit that's the person next to you or the person that's 3000 miles away from you. Be of the Spirit of Christ. May Jesus bless you.